What time is it? It's back to school time. I gotta get to my classes. See you later. So, with that little crazy intro I just did, um, I just wanted to say, back to school is right around the corner. It's but August 22nd, and yeah. So I just wanted to do a makeup tutorial for back to school. I actually have two. Yeah. So I just want to get something really, really quickly. Like, just like, really, really. Quickly. Okay, sorry about that. I'm sorry, that was like really long. But I had to get a couple more products. So I'm gonna do one tutorial on the time one on my eye. So I'm taking this. So first what I'm doing is I'm taking my wet mild palette in 736 petal blusher. Next I'm taking this brush that came with it. And I'm taking this brow bone color. It's really nice cream white, which kind of got dirty, but. I'm applying it right underneath the brow bone. I'm just gonna do it on the side. And I'm in the corner. Then I'm applying a little bit of that white on the lid. I'm just going to bobby pin my bangs back. Doesn't matter how. After that, you want to take that, take a lid brush or a flat brush. And you want to take a brush that really packs on color. I'm using the same one because right now that's all I have in my hand. After I do that, I'm taking this little duo by Lancome. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's Lancome. This is in color, it's a color focus in fill gray and scene. Those two colors over there. And it comes with a sponge applicator brush, which I'm going to use. But those are the two colors. It's a shimmery champagne and a taupe matte brown actually taupe kind of shimmery brown mostly matte but it does have some shimmer taking that and just applying that champagne shimmery color all over the lid a good dupe for it would be naked lunch by mac or all that glitters just applying that on the lid I'm sorry the lighting is really bad right now. I just have no other place to film. I want a good coat of this on your lid. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush for the crease. Taking this brown color and packing it on to the very tip and applying this in the crease. They're just encircling motions of bringing it up. Take a little bit more of that and put it right on the outer corner. After you have done that, you want to take a favorite mascara. I'm using the Maybelline New York Lash Stiletto. And I really like the application for this because it has a curved brush. And this is in very black. If you guys can kind of see that.
I love that brush application for it because it's very precise. And just applying that on the upper lashes. And bottom. You want something natural looking, so I wouldn't recommend this because this is really dramatic. But this is the only one I had in my in my hands right now. So after that, you want to take a white eyeliner and line your eyes with it. I'm using this Wet n Wild color icon wet, wet eyeliner in white. Just applying that on the waterline. Now on the upper lash line you went. Sorry about that, my camera couldn't didn't have any more disk space. So just taking that blue lash liner. I will usually use my Paula Dio herbal eyeliner in real average uh, trackable in black, but right now I just have this Claire's one in my hand. So now just gonna um line my upper lash line, which I'm gonna do in the mirror. I'll be right back. Okay, like that. Then I will take my Rimmel London blush in number six, Autumn Catwalk. And I'm taking that blush and the blush brush in there. I'm applying this on the apples of my cheeks by smiling. Or you could do a fish face. I just it's fine smiling. This brings out my outer beauty. So that was the first look. And I just did half my face. And as for lips, you could just apply any lip balm. Uh, I'm just using this one I made myself because I'm really liking it. And um, I just want to use it because a lot of the stuff I made myself, I never use. So, so I'm just going to apply that on my lips. It's like really nice pink gloss. Sorry, the light just like... Boom, it, the sun went out, and I'm doing this on natural light, so it's kind of harsh. Anyway, so the next look is easy, and this is basically my summer makeup. My everyday, not everyday summer makeup, but if I wear summer, if I wear makeup, this is the makeup I'm doing. Okay, so I'm taking my Wet n Wild palette and 736 palette, which are my favorite palette in the whole wide world. <laughs> and then taking my brush and going into the brow bone color again which is a white, putting that right underneath and in the inner corner like I always would then lining it like that then applying it on the like middle of the ball of your lid then taking this lavender color right over here it's a really nice pretty purple lavender can't really see that which is really sad but it's such a pretty color. There it is. That's the color. Sorry I have mascara on my arm. And applying this all over the lid. Just the lid. And this works for any light skin tones. Um yeah. I don't have light, but this is really nice. This is my Sparkle Eye Dust by NYC. This is $3.99 at CVS in $8.93 Champagne. Just applying some of that right on top. Just tapping a bunch off because a bunch of products comes on it. Just one quick coat, one quick layer. Then this does really lighten your eyelashes because of the makeup, but my favorite mascara and top and bottom. Sorry, I have lots of pimples and I'm just like, boom. 
boy, that was weird. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take my blush, same one I used before. Then I'm lining my eyes with the white eyeliner that I used before. I line it really quickly and then same thing with the black line that I did before. And then taking but when I tight line it, I'm only gonna tight line it over here and then over here, that's it. Right on the outer corners where the little two things meet. And so, then after I do both my looks, I'm going to take my Fit Me Foundation 3 pan. This is the perfect shade for me. Maybe a little bit too dark, but it's pretty perfect. And I'm applying that under the lid just because I might have some fallouts because these eyeshadows do tend to um, give me problems with fallouts. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And that was my little back to school makeup. This will be, this is like over 10 minutes I believe. But yeah, so if you want to know some back school hairstyles, go ahead and watch that. Hi. Oi. Okay. This look because that lighting was terrible. So those are the two looks. They're pretty different. I'm thinking I'm wearing this one for the first day of school instead of this one, but I'm not sure yet. So I know I'm really close, but I just want to really show you guys the looks. I won't wear as much blush, this is just so the camera could actually see it. So I'm going to stop yab blabbing and I'm going to say bye. So here it is in the natural sunlight. Hope you guys enjoyed.